we started uh, the work uh, 34 years ago. At first we had uh, 220 beds, now we have 272. But although the number of beds is not impressively bigger, we have many more activities. For example, in the, in the new wings we have 20 operating theatres. So there are days that we perform 100 operations. We have three intensive care units with uh, 34 beds and sometimes they are full. And we have an average of 2,000 uh, patients a month. So we have a lot of work and we are grateful to the Lord for it. I just felt very comfortable with the hospital, with the with the neurosurgeon, with the experience and the expertise that they that they had and, and displayed and the professionalism and knew that there was no reason to go back to the States because what I could get here would be as good or better than what I could get in the States. You can just sense the Christian values in the Holy Spirit here and the, in the people that take care of you, the nurses, the doctors, and the administrative staff. We try to combine medicine with evangelism, and we do it in many different ways. We give three minute gospel messages in the rooms, morning and evening. We have Gideon New Testaments in all of our rooms. We have scriptures on the walls. We encourage those of our personnel who are Christians to meet the patients and give their testimonies. And we had uh, the pleasure to see people who came to be treated physically and they went home with Christ in their hearts. And this is very important. So this combination is not unusual. If you open your Bible, you shall see that the Lord sent his disciples to do two things, to preach and to heal. Here is the combination. Although the New Testament was written in Greek, there are many, many Greeks, maybe the majority of our people, who have never read the Gospel. And so when they come here in St. Luke's, they've been, they find a way to see a New Testament and to read it. For some of them, it is an experience for the first time. But you know, the Word of God has power. Someone came here and he read uh, the New Testament and he stole it. And after that, he wrote to me a letter. He told me, you know, I, I was in your hostel, I read the New Testament, and live in the hostel, I stole the New Testament. But reading the New Testament, I found that this is very bad. So I want to come back and pay for the New Testament because now I know that we must not steal anything. There are many New Testaments which are stolen in our hospital, and this is the only kind, let's say, of stealing which we promote. So we are grateful to the Lord for this opportunity and for this uh, hospital, and uh, we believe that it is a tool in the hands of the Lord to influence people in this part of the world.